Yeah, I think, yeah, I've. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well. I agree. Taste it. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying I do not like wheels, so I have eaten a couple of charred meals before, so. Maybe put the microphone down? Maybe. It's not that one that he uses. All right, how about now? Is this one working now? There we go. It's working. Okay, I had the wrong microphone unmuted. That's weird. No kidding. Okay, I had the wrong microphone. All right. Yes, I what was muted. Okay. So, uh. What I was ranting about, essentially, is that Matt <laughs> just said that food is food. I mentioned that I burnt my dis dinner to a crisp. And he's like, ah, it's okay, food is food. I'm like, no, taste matters. <laughs> so, just in time, I'm going to kill his character, kick him off the stream. Alternatively, I can send him the worstly worst burnt food ever, and him <laughs> eat it and be happy about it, because food's just food. I mean, I, would, I was saying, I wouldn't be happy about it, but I was like, it's food, I should at least try to eat it, and then there's the point where it's like, if it's hard as a rock, no, I'm not going to eat it. But. Uh -huh. Hey, uh -huh. I mean, like, a, a week and a half ago, I, I ate uh, cricket and grasshopper and silkworm. So, I mean... You know, I always wanted to try grasshopper and cricket. Not going to lie. I'm going to exclude myself from this conversation. Oh, also, I have always wanted to eat the monkey brains from the second Indiana Jones. That's the one thing I have the always what? wanted to try. The in, in, this, in the second Indiana Jones, chilled monkey brains. From Temple of Doom? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Yeah. You know, Where they come out and it's one? just like the skull of, like, what? it's the head of the monkey with, like, the one. top of it. They just come out and they're like, Ooga Chaka, Ooga Chaka, Ooga Chaka. I can't stop this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if the cult leader came out as the lady was being lowered? I can't stop this feeling. Honestly, that would have made the movie a million. <laughs> and it's the same as someone whose favorite Indiana Jones movie is the second one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. I still need to see Gardens of the Galaxy. Today. Okay, I'm going to focus. Oh, Indiana. you do. You do. It's the best one yet. I have heard. Alright, um, so introductions. Let's start with, uh, Matt. Alright, I'm Matt. I play, uh, Marcus, the absolutely traumatized cleric, and apparently I'm the one pissing off Markham today. Good to know. Uh, da -da -da -da. let's do Naz. I'm Naz. I play Abigail. And that leaves me. What up? I'm Ian. And I play Sir Wellington, who's who's hiding underground right now, and with 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 Harrison Didn't you and get out? Kaylee. Huh? You I dug another hole because we were in a tent and we heard. Jugga, 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 jugga. Oh, that's right. That's right. My go-to. I am a no man. I'm digging a hole. <laughs> Right. Um, without further ado, let's actually start there in the, in the camp. Um, wait, wait, you didn't give Naz an introduction. 
Yeah, you did. You did? Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Now I said hi, and now I play Abigail, as always. Oh, true, true. I forget how short they are sometimes. For intros, I mean. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, now is sorry, short, am... but let's not rub it in. Hey, you don't have to... <laughs> they, this group doesn't know. You don't have to say it. I mean, Naz isn't short. What the frick are you talking about? Thank, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Naz is All six right. foot seven. That's true, Sitting verified down. facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting down on a really high chair. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that's true. Oh. Uh, and hi, everyone who's viewing tonight. Um, tonight is Pranks and Problems, if I remember the name correctly. Yes. Uh, so... We're going to get up to some mischief tonight. We have a couple of mischief mischievous characters here. Um, we will start off you with... You say. Right. Uh, we will start off with the... Um, uh, we'll start off with those in the camp. There was... Uh, when we left off, they had escaped from the village of... I think it was Thrawn there. Um... Which turned out to be a di uh, village of uh, a, t a town filled with uh, were devils, who needed to consistently lure in travelers, have them stay kind of at the center of town, so that whenever a blood room, uh, blood moon rolls around, oh yeah, plenty of pranks. Um, whenever a blood moon roll rolls around, uh they would have food for their young, essentially. And some of the party... Well, the party got out. Um, heavy casualties to the NPCs and, and, and a guest. Um, but the party got out mostly unscathed-ish. And are now trying to find their way to a place called Sanctuary, which is the only uncorrupted ground in this entire continent. Uh, when we left off, they had, they had seen a number of individuals hunting demons a ways off. And one night while they were camped, they heard the thundering of numerous horse hooves coming up to the camp. And Sir Wellington just kind of burrowed underground to hide. With the two children. With the that two I'm kids with. that he's with. Yeah, you're keeping the kids safe. Um, Abigail is currently Here, across Kieran the continent. And Marcus, Kieran and Marcus have their kids. I have my kids. It's hey. true. <laughs> That is true. You're a grandfather. How sweet. Yeah. <laughs> You're too young to be a grand. You're too young to be a daddy. <laughs> so Wellington's like, I got my own kids. You guys are like, I'm your kid? All right, well, I got my kids. Um, and Abigail's your a kid has a kid. She's on the far side of the continent right now doing sneaky stuff. Doing evil sneaky, shit. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I mean, totally wonderful, good, holy, righteous, lovable things. Uh, yeah. Do you realize that you've split the party, male and female? Yeah, this is... Holy crap, you have. Ha. Problematic. I did not split the party. I did not split the party. Um, you guys initiated it. No. <laughs> Sorry, rephrase. Do you realize that Abiga Abigail has split the party male and female? <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> You're the one that it. went off after this guy in the first place. Listen. And you're the one that also teleported Callie to Histon's lair. Yeah, you could have just said, no, nope, not going to do that, and you could have gone back and asked for a different target. I had a different target ready. <laughs> That's false information. <laughs> also, that is fake news. news. <laughs> I mean, you would have had to duel on Minotaur, but, you know, it would have been fun. I'll stick with the girlies. <laughs> I didn't know the Minotaur wasn't a girl. That's because a fair assumption. I just mean, like, I'm okay with splitting the party like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come yeah. on, wizard versus barbarian? That would have been fun. Yeah. Yeah. For me. 
<laughs> can, you, can you blast him faster than he can smash? It's like Loki versus Hulk. Oh, wait. That, that, that did not end, end well. well. <laughs> Hell, Thor versus Hulk did not end well. That's a good point. No one versus Hulk ends well. Mm-mm. Except Unless Thanos. Unless you're Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm kidding. Fair Alright, so what we are going to do is we'll start... Um, Start off with you guys here in the non-prankville. As the horse hooves stop right outside your tents. Marcus, what are you going to do? Because we know what Sir Wellington's doing. Yeah. Um, so, he, I imagine he's inside a tent. Can he really see any sort of figures at all? Or... Like any shadows through the tent? Let's see. There is a faint red glow throughout the land, so... Yeah, give me a perception check. All right. Just a shadow there as a third leg appears. As a shadow. <laughs> uh, is... It's either a third leg or a really long tail. It's just the whole... It's the, just the whole Austin Power situation. <laughs> Have you ever seen Austin Powers? I don't Robin? know that I have. I've heard so many references to it, though. You need to. It's hilarious. And I got a uh, 12. No, not a 12. 22. A 22. I was going to say, with a 12, you see a shadow. Uh, <laughs> with a 22, you see a shadow of a horse with a man on top of it. And then you kind of go, well, where's the horse's head? And... Where was Marcus from again? Uh, he... If I remember correctly, he was from... Not Vlad's Empire. The, he was from the, uh, north, uh, the north. The, the uh, Veltana. The, the uh, Vistonian yeah, Veltana. Empire. Okay. The then he would be well familiar, uh, quite familiar with um, centaurs. Oh, shit. Centaurs. There are okay. about 12 of them. And how many people do we have to fight them, if we need to? Uh, counting Sir Wellington. Not enough. Him. Counting, counting the four. three kids. Counting the three kids, you have 13 people? The two children count as one, as count as half a person together. And then <laughs> Sir Wellington counts as two people as one. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm just I'll that, that good. I'll I'm that. just that good. I okay. took out ten people on my own. No, Sir Wellington counts as like four people in one. Okay, so definitely not enough people to fight off. <laughs> <laughs> Five if you count the squirrel. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I imagine he's... Uh, Sir Wellington like, and Mr. Hyde. That's fair. He's near Sorsha. He's gonna just... I assume it's his night time. So he's... Yeah. Gently just gonna... Uh, nudge her and go... Marcus kept his girlfriend. Kieran had to kill his. <laughs> he, oh. I should clarify, he didn't have to. He chose, yeah, but still. He could have just bolted. He could have. I, I, I still find that funny, though. Yeah. It's sad. He's, that is so sad. Hey, I'm just yeah, glad it's kind of not happening to my character anymore. Anyway. <laughs> uh, he's going to just gently nudge Sorsha and go, uh, Dear, I think there's... Uh, well, there's centaurs out, but I don't know if they're friendly or not. <laughs> Well, one way to find out there isn't there, and she'll put put her chain uh put her put her well not her chain mail she doesn't really have time but she'll put her uh put her belt on with her with her scabbard and, and sword in it and she'll head out. Marcus just kind of said like, like Wait, did she, did she just did that. <laughs> we'll go to the board just like no shit. <laughs> Marcus. As you get out there, <coughs> uh, Sir Wellington, can you give me a perception check also? 
Um, as you get out there, Marcus, you see several individuals have come out of their tents as well. So More of peeping out than like fully out like she has. Um, she has walked right up, very commanding barons, and 17, nice. So Sir Wellington, from where you are, it is muffled, but you can hear what it said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel like Charlie Brown, you don't know why. Um, and she, she, she goes up and goes, I trust you aren't planning trouble. I am a cleric of the, what the frick, I don't remember the name of her goddess. Um, I thought she was a Polly. paladin. Oh, you're right, she's a paladin. Well, I you know, missed I'm it. the one that's a cleric. <laughs> yeah, you're the cleric. I just mixed up your positions. All right, hang on. Where are my notes on her? Um, blank on her own deities. But, uh, as soon as she's out there, Marcus will grab the morning star and the shield and like there we go. go out there. And be like, okay, I'm going to support my honey now. <laughs> I am... Oh, there we are. I am a... Paladin of the goddess Tika, and I trust you are not planning any trouble as I guide these good people to sanctuary. And I'm gonna roll a persuasion Masala. check for her. <laughs> so these, these oh! are regular. That's a natural <laughs> nineteen. Oh, good job, honey. Aww. She she comes. She is very confident. She makes, like, direct eye contact. She has her hand on her sword hilt, like she's ready to draw it. Also, Marcus has never but been more not... attracted to her than <laughs> he is now. But not in, like, a threatening way. Like, her back is arch, good posture. She's not, like, in that hunched, I'm ready to, like, cut you in half. It's, it's very prim, proper. Um, the centaurs appear impressed. I was about to say, the the leader uh, dismounts his horse, but that would be rather awkward, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just half the centaur comes <laughs> on. He's dead. Uh, uh, while she was persuading uh, them that we were friendly, uh, she, she did, she an did one of those anime strikes <laughs> that they didn't see it. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, the lead centaur just kind of their hands are on their weapons, and he kind of raises a hand, and the ones around him just kind of relax. I guess. Where are you from? Does Marcus want to kick in, or do I need to do, the, do, like, I need to do a no, whole I'm scene like, with these two? <laughs> no, I'm like trying to remember the name of the town because it just blanked me. What's the name of the town Th that Thronder? they just came from? Thronder, there it is. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh, no, sorry. I just could not remember the name for some reason. So, Marcus saying that, like, these guys at the very moment are not enemies, he's gonna uh, sort of edge his way closer to uh, Sorsh and go, we just came here from, uh, we just came from Thronder. We're just uh, trying to pass by. <laughs> The centaur's hand immediately drops back to his weapon, and the centaurs branch out and surround you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I know what you're thinking. Trust me, we are not them. That They tried to kill us. Trust me, we are not Roll them. Roll a disadvantaged persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Arkham. I just rolled a nat 20. Oh, oh no! Okay, I got that, so it ain't bad. I know he's. That's a fifteen still. Okay. Well, she's going to assist, and she got a nat twenty. Gosh, these rolls tonight. Um, what the hell? Ah! <laughs> I, she, she's a she's going to better kind hand. of like put a hand on your shoulder. And, we aren't from there. We were shipwrecked here a couple of months ago. They offered us shelter and food, and of course we could not say no. We had no idea what their true intentions were. We assure you, we mean no harm. 
He's just gonna point to her, like listen to her. She's the <laughs> smart one here. I apologize for my boyfriend's um jitteriness. He's been through a lot. Just um, almost... Marcus will go and go. Oh, you call me your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. At, at that, like, little aside to himself, the centaurs are like, okay, there's no way they mean trouble. And they will kind <laughs> of relax a bit. Um, they're like, oh, he's a simp. Uh, <laughs> we'll relax a bit. I mean, all my characters are somehow simps for some reason. And, and the, the, the leader will kind of raise his hand again, signal to, to, to relax, and uh, we'll say, very well then, how many are, are your numbers? Who do okay. we blads him for? Uh, huh? We have about a dozen people or so. Sorry, no, no that shouldn't have been me. I was, that was out of character. Oh, Sorry, what? what'd you say? I wasn't down there. I he said all his characters are simps, and I said, who does Vlad sim for? Uh, his Medusa wife and a crazy they them called Perot. It's true. Yeah. A mysterious like... non-binary and a very ancient woman who actually views him more as a goldfish than she does a lover. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're cute. I wonder how long you'll last. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Villain relationships are always interesting. Um, Definitely. For those of you who are watching, uh, Vlad is a, is a character from a different campaign that Matt has played, who is actually a villain. It's kind of an evil-aligned campaign. Um, <laughs> the guy's got issues in spades, and um, yeah, he's he's like this world's version of Saruman mixed with a few other baddies. Throw a bit of Count Dooku, Emperor Palpatine in there, and that pretty much sums him up. Yep. It's super fun to play him. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Can't wait for him to die. I mean... <laughs> me, hey, me too, man. The guy's a dick. Right? It's half the fun of playing villains. You want them to actually get killed. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> the centaurs kind of relax and go, Very well. We can escort you as far as the gate, but you will have to pass our entry exam. Uh, he's going to just, Mark is going to raise it. Uh, what does that in exactly entail? If I may ask. We will inspect each of you, your possessions, ensure that you do not carry any diseases, curses, um, no links to the occult. We do not want demon servants in our land. We have protected it for far too long. Fair enough. And then there's a paper test afterwards. Where you gotta, where it's just like <laughs> math questions, just a list of math questions. And you gotta do it as quickly as possible. Crap, Mark has got his degree in theology, not mathematics. Oh gosh. <laughs> two plus two, that's four. Minus one, that's three. Quick math. <laughs> that is a foot race. It's a whole thing. Mm. But yeah, Marco, oh, all right. That's fair enough. First, you tell me there's a centaur race, now there's a foot race? <laughs> the foot clan. <sighs> I feel like that's actually a thing, like one footed species. I mean, if we're going off. No, it, the it's, logical... just, it's, 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 like, it's like the thumb thumbs from uh, oh, Spy God. Kids, but they're just people that are just feet. Oh. Uh, I was just thinking of that one yokai who like has like the one foot and the one leg. No, I was I was thinking more like from the Chronicles of Narnia where you had those one footed dwarves. Oh yeah, the uh, large, the oh, jumpers. Yeah, that could, yeah, that could be it. But yeah, but we can go with any of those. Any of those works. Any of those works. Yeah, and I'll tear yeah I guess no demon inspection. He's feeling confident. He's a freaking cleric. So very well. Do you have any idea how close you are to Sanctuary? Would Marcus have any idea how close they are? Let's roll a survival check. Uh, that's a 14. You think you know that you're maybe... Maybe an extra three weeks out? Been traveling for a little over... A couple months. Right. Uh, I think a few, a 
few weeks out, if I'm right. Well, you're not wrong with your heading, but you're only about a day's ride. Wait, what? Wait. He's gonna just look at, like, I assume he had a map. There's like, wait a sec. With your, current, oh, with your current heading, which way have you been heading? Which way have we been heading? Because I was not here last night. Uh, Sorsha will just kind of point in the direction that you guys have been heading. Yes, if you've been heading, if you are continue heading in that direction, you would arrive there in about three weeks. Um, if you turn a bit more to the left there, you're only about a day out. Oh, that's convenient. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. All right. Uh, well, you should all get some rest, and we will continue in the morning. If it's all right, my scouts and I will continue our patrol. We'll leave a few here to guard the camp. Uh, you don't have the best security here. Oh, thank Kaliane. We appreciate it. <laughs> How long has it been at this point? Five, ten minutes, maybe? Okay, kind of Sir Wellington. Sir Sir Wellington is going to come out because he they, there's been no like sounds of fighting and all that. And he and you could make out roughly what they're saying. Yeah. I tell Harrison and Kaylee to stay in the tent for now, and I'm just gonna like slide out of the tent like whoosh. I'm I'm just picturing him on his knees like ta da. Like. <laughs> Hello no, there. it's more like more like you know, like those foot slides where you're like ah! arms out, like yes, whoosh. anime Sweet style. Thing. Yeah, I checks for him. Yeah, I'm uh, just slowly like <laughs> saunter, like like kind of like the doing this saunters <laughs> up to uh, where uh, Marcus and Sorsha are. He'll just look down and just see Sir Wellington go, Oh, you're fine. You're awake. Hi. <laughs> I, 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 I have to, you, you know, you know, it's something where I have to, I have to keep the other little ones safe. So I, it's, it's, I, I was, I was keeping them safe. And I heard you, the people just talking out here. There wasn't a fight. So I figured I'll come on out. Yeah. We do appreciate it, Sir Wellington. Yeah. And he's going to point to the uh, centaur group that up here. These guys are friends, and good thing is, we're apparently a day's ride from Sanctuary, so we should be good. Looking around, it's like, yeah, I would offer carrots, but I don't have any. We do not normally uh, prefer carrots. Uh, he just like. With... I appreciate your kindness, though, little one. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna. Mark is gonna look at Sorsha and go. Is that offensive? Um, it, it depends on the centaur, honestly. It seemed to go over their heads, so I think we're in the clear. I'm not a centaur, and I feel offended. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Wellington just knows that, like, the the few he's met uh, have enjoyed carrots, so he's like, <laughs> they, per they, per they preferred the carrots over the, like, cookies, usually. <laughs> oh my god. Is he mixing them up with horses? <laughs> huh? Is he mixing them up with horses? No, because I'm sure he met some. Oh, he's probably met some Kevin. Sarah's. Yeah, he's probably met some centaurs. Um, some satyrs as well. Probably. Nice tall face satyrs. Now, now those were fun to be around. <laughs> satyrs are fun. Satyrs are really fun. Um, yeah, I'm not yeah, as the... stuck up and serious as the centaurs. Excuse me, these guys are very casual and, and fun and and fun loving and 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 fun and and, and casual and, and, and. <laughs> Oof, rude. Um yeah, the center's gonna kinda like give him a side eye like carrots. Um And then and then they'll kind of uh He's going to kind of turn back to Marcus and Sorsha and say, Well, I leave these three here with 
you as guards, and I will take the rest of my troops to scout the area. If any of you would like to come along for the ride, you are welcome to do so. I mean, thank you kindly, but I think I'd much rather s sleep. Oh, and uh, I I'm Marcus, by the way. I, I don't think I caught your name. No, great. I don't think I had a name for this guy. No, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, <but> Marco. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm just joshing with you. His name's Cole Thor. <laughs> The name is. There we go. Hang on. I just need to pull up his Thor. name. Second, the second son of Delthania. Cole Thor, second son of Delpha. Yes. No. <laughs> See, now I hate the name, though, after you did that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so used to, like, because my players would do the same thing, just pulling names out of my rear end. The name is Sebastian. <laughs> it sounds so bad compared to yours. <laughs> oh. oh gosh! Sorry. The name is Sebastian Parker. <laughs> it's so bad compared to yours. You're kidding? <laughs> Parker. Sebastian Parker? is fine. Parker is questionable. Not even like a Doran marker. Not like even like Sebastian. I don't know. <laughs> Hammer hoof or something like that. <laughs> my mother Parker's was sued. Name I, got. I don't know why I thought that would be my... a good nickname for this guy, but it sounded my mother was then. My mother was Susan, a white lady. <laughs> my, fa my father, well, they my had an interesting relationship. Karen. My, my my father, they had an interesting relationship. He's just a full-on horse. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You, you know the bull of Minos? Think that, but a horse. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you know what? We'll say, we'll say his mom name. took his dad's last name. Yeah. Uh, he's a brand man. He's, he's half human. Uh, please, wait, hold on. I, uh, okay, I will say what I... Marcus would say, and then I will say what Matthew wants to say. <laughs> so, uh, Marcus will kind of like, kind of know how like odd the name, like how like human it is an the odd name, name is for, for a centaur. centaur. It's like, yeah, this guy's half human, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we, he's a centaur. Of course, he's half yeah. human. But yeah, he'll just go. Uh, he'll just nod and go, well, Sebastian, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate the help with everything. I'm happy to be of service. Oh, by the way, this guy doesn't act like his name embarrasses him at all. Um, <laughs> think Zank from Otter Among Thieves, for those of you who have seen it. That's basically Oh, it. yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm going to see that movie next Which week. I would see it. It is. Well, when you see so Zank, good. you will know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Also, I am going to post in the D and post in the Discord chat who I think his mom is. Oh, gosh. Only. Well, his mom and... is a centaur, so. Well, yeah. You're probably no, wrong. Just, I'm going to make a joke. Ah. Uh, that sounds fun. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> um broken brain here. <laughs> okay. oh whoever gosh. the whoever his dad was was a lucky person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh what was I where was I where was I? You made me you're making me lose my train of thoughts here. Uh not embarrassed by the name. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, he doesn't seem at all embarrassed by, by the odd name. It is indeed a very odd name for a centaur. But uh, At least he's a centaur, not a mantar. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, 
and uh, he he leads his troops off, uh, with the exception of the three. Uh, after waiting a moment, there are a couple of individuals who are like, yeah, why not? I'll go with you. Um, and they head off to scout. A couple of uh, Kieran's boys. So you guys are now uh, kind of left to do your own thing. What would you like to do? I mean, you really do much. Yeah. It is kind of in the middle of the night. I just thought that. Holy crap. <laughs> it was kind of in the middle of the night, yes. Ian, what? <laughs> what cursed thing is... Okay. It's a mantar. Hold yeah. on. Like I said, at least they're not a mantar. <laughs> Okay, I need to get back into Marcus' headspace now. Um, anyway. uh, is there very much to do? It is still the middle of the night. Sir Wellington will just go back to sleep. <laughs> I, mean, I hate that. Sick mantar. Um... <clears throat> I agree, Selkie. I, I hate that with a passion. Um, You're welcome. So, with that, uh, do you guys just go back to sleep then? Most likely, yeah. If there's really nothing else to do. I mean, you can talk, or yeah, you can just go back to bed. Yeah. He'll, 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 Mark is a simp. He'll just head with whatever Sorsha is doing. Probably. All right, yeah. Uh, you guys all go back and kind of get comfy. Uh, we'll pan over to Abigail then, if you guys are, uh, do, well, hang on. I should, I should say, uh, does Sir Wellington get up to anything? Well, if he had, if he was going to just been like, actually hopping on the backs of one of the centaurs and like riding along and like pestering one of them. That's an option. Deal. The what? Yeah, he'll do he'll do that. It was either that or sleep. Right. And he figures he can sleep on the way to wherever they're going later. Cause he's small enough. That's fair. Alright, that's logical. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what their Wellington will do. So Yeah, uh, as you ride along, mm -hmm. we will we will still pan over, but um, now I get to open up another scene here. <laughs> Abigail, you've had a couple more months to just kind of chill around. Um, your boss okay. is continuing to make preparations for his big project. What are some things Abigail will have been getting up to these last couple of months? Uh... Point four version? How many months? You have approximately 2.5 months. What can I do in 2.5 months? Uh, she, I mean, like, other, like, regular stuff. She's gonna be, like, checking in on Micah, annoying Histon, talking to Coraline, regular stuff. Um, she probably won't unless like something 
calls her to it, she probably won't touch the statue again. Um, okay. The symbol of uh, the goddess? Albie. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, she'll keep She'll keep checking in on, like, either through, like, trying to get his notes or Coraline's notes or talking to either of them. Okay. She wants more info on the ritual and things like that. Okay. To see stuff like that. Uh, are, is, is she trying to do this discreetly or is she just, like, openly just going in and asking Histon questions about this project? Uh, the questions? She's not being discreet. She's going to ask him questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> discreetly ask a question. <laughs> like, sh the notes, sh she would ask Coraline if she had any notes, and she would try to sneak through his sense notes, but she would ask him outright. Okay. I don't trust him to give him my me. I don't trust his to, to show me the notes. I think Coraline will. Basically. All right. <clears throat> um. Roll persuasion then. Persuasion. Yeah. Okay. See if she gets anything out of him over a couple of months of bugging him. <laughs> Not twenty. Twenty six. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have any problems um, conversing with him about Whoa. his his project. He is the rarity. Right. What's yeah, going they're on? They're actually are working together and yeah. not yelling at each other. Oh no, he's still he's he's doing this in a very condescending way. Um, obviously, right? I was obviously. like, I would be surprised if it wasn't any. This this guy's not gonna be nice at all to Abigail. Um, it's quite oh, apparent man. that he finds her annoying. Okay, fair. However, he will share. You will share um, the details of how the ritual works, and. Um, Well, you know what? I should, I should, I shouldn't let you get away with that. Um, you should, yes. you should have to RP it out. So no, well, let me get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. All it right. also depends how long you want this session to take, Markham. Yeah. Well, that coupled. I'm gonna say that coupled with the nat twenty. <laughs> I You'll let it slide this time. This time, I don't. I don't actually mind. I was joking. Whatever's whatever works best for time and everybody. <laughs> the uh, well, I think I think you were the one who seemed like you had a little bit more pressing time tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's it's just I can't keep staying for very long. Yeah, you need rest. You need some form of sleep. Yeah, exactly. I got a race. So, yeah, you do. You need to be ready house. for it, ready and well rested. Exactly. It's gonna stop very soon. I'm gonna be able to not sleep, but for now, oh my god, I need so much sleep. Still gonna need sleep. <laughs> no. Is it school? School? Is it because of school? No, it's because of a race. Oh. Yeah. They are our athlete, our resident athlete. Um, what is what's the distance? Uh, seventy point three. Okay. The the Iron Man. Wow. That's a tough one. Good luck. Thank you. 
Buena suerte. Thank you. Anyways. You get out of him. He goes, this is over a period of like two and a half months. He shares, well, it's quite simple, really. First, what you need to do is you need to ensure that there are um, individuals of particularly pure uh, heart, soul, mind, body, etc. that uh, can act as kind of conduits to communicate with the demon. And then one must read from the ritualistic black book there, uh, chanting to commune with the demon, uh, activate the portal, and uh, he kind of proceeds to go off into a very long, detailed, which if I knew the vocabulary of that world, which I'm still trying to work on, <laughs> he uses a lot of big words that... <laughs> Makes sense to Abigail, actually, because she is a wizard. She understands spells and magic and all that. Um, and he just, you know, when one of those nerds just goes off and just, well, it's quite simple. If you add 6 times 22, divide it by 47, uh, multiply that times 72, and then cut that in half, find the square root of it, multiply that times 74, divide it times 97.61245, oh then. and then <laughs> subtract that from 362, add that again to this one here, multiply that times its, uh, times, uh, the ex an exponent of 8, um, and then divide that answer by 17.9412. Then you get the answer, blah, blah, blah. And it's quite simple, really, isn't it? it that's basically what he goes into. Okay. <laughs> oh, heavens, is that what I sound like when I go onto a history rant? <laughs> Anyone no. who's completely geeking out, yeah. That's, that's, and, and people who don't get what oh, they're dear. talking about, that's probably what we all sound like at different times. Um, it's like me going, well, it's simple. If you're proficient in persuasion, um, then what happens when you roll net 20, you're able to add <coughs> your proficiency bonus onto that as well as your, um, regular, uh, modifier from your overall, uh, wisdom, uh, and that will give you the total score of your dice roll. No, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, you can, you can insert anything anyone's geeking out about. Um, you could insert Naz talking about the Night Sisters. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. But you ultimately, you learn the uh, inner workings of this project, everything about it. Um, you can make an insight check if you want to find out like his motives for wanting to do all of this. Hell yeah. Well, he kind of told me, but I'll ask again. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's. It does Abigail even Yo, care about? Yo, I. <laughs> you can check the history. This is another net twenty. Wow. Check the game log. I promise. <laughs> twenty-two. I'm not very insightful, but that's a twenty-two. I promise. It's on the log. That's what I'm checking now. I'm kidding. I believe you. I believe you. But, um... Holy cow. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. The, uh... I should probably know what I'm getting into. And now's the time to do it. Six months in. Right. <laughs> oh, uh, After guys, I just... already made the deal. Guys, important thing, Amanda says hi to y'all. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Oh. They all say hi back. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she says uh, thanks for the hi. <laughs> and she loves you all. Aww. We love you too. Naz just shot out uh, one of these for you. She loves you too. So... <laughs> With, with another nat 20, whatever his motivations are, the, the deeper workings of this and working with Abigail on building this entire relationship with the demon, he's hiding it. He's not sharing, actually. He is carefully and skillfully dodging any question in that vicinity. You bitch. I even rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Okay. He's not telling me. 
Okay. <laughs> well, with the nat twenty, you're able you're you're able to deduce that I know he's he avoiding saying work. it. Yeah. Okay. As you know, so you know you're stars, gonna actually you know have happened. to do some digging to try and figure that out because he won't say. Can I pin him right there and be like, "You're dodging it, motherfucker." Sure, sure. Um, there's one particular day you go in and he's like, he's busy working on his potions and he's like, got some mixtures up and all right, if you mix, oh my god, that's two potent twitches at you. It's just, well, that smells disgusting. Yeah, you in the cage, take care of that and he's like, tosses in the cage. Um, <laughs> lick it up or something, it smells awful. Oh my god. You know, like, Kind of like grab another one and be like, all right, let's see if we can try that again. Get the mixtures right this time. Uh, sorry, have we already. Has he already dodged it or are we. Oh, I. No, we'll, we'll say this is like a new day you walk in. He. Last time you spoke with him, like, you know, a couple hours before, he had. You'd met him in the hall, he'd uh, completely evaded the con question and went he's like i have work to do okay oh you're doing your work i see oh, yes what else would i be doing it's the most important oh, i know thing. you you have to prepare for the ritual this but... is in preparation for the ritual yes that you still won't tell me why you're doing you are a persistent <laughs> one aren't you of course It's on need to know basis, and as I have told you many times before, you do not need to know. I do a lot of things I don't need to do, and I know a lot of things I don't need to know. I just like to know. You know, that didn't even make the slightest amount of sense. Here, smell this. Does it smell good? I don't trust you. I'm not breathing that shit in. Oh, eh, your loss. <laughs> it smells awful. Nah. Fucking knew it. Shut up, you. What is it? It's the big secret? Something scandalous? Why are you always on my nerves? It's just... What else is there to do around here? I have tomes upon tomes you could be studying. Oh, my God. It's like my sister. I yes, don't want well, to your read. sister has made several, multiple, like, massive ranking level progressions in the couple of months she's been here. I have yeah. never had such a wonderful student, and you just lounge about all day and annoy me. Well, yeah, but my sister's like... Listen. I don't want to read books that are going to be there for eternity i have eternity to read them i don't have eternity to find out things that are happening right now roll a persuasion check that was actually pretty good thanks oh my god 25 19. holy crap yo That's, your they're rolls blessing are awesome me. Thank you're you. I, you're actually getting good rolls today. Wow, Abigail is rolling good on things like persuasion with and with Kristen. Kristen, it's not even to mess with her world too. What's happening? I know this is insane. Wow, it's impressive. Tell me. <laughs> He's gonna kind of like raise an eyebrow and be like. All right, that was actually a pretty good point. What is it you would like to know? You have uh, no more than 75 seconds. Why are you doing this? Answer, you're taking out my seconds. Fine. I'm doing this because I happen to have a very important contact who wishes to access the celestial realm. I am doing Who's this. Who's your contact? You wouldn't know of him. He's not from around here. Hmm. Just know that he is a very powerful sorcerer. And I wouldn't know of him. 
I know quite a bit of history. Oh, he's not from the history books. Where is he from? Not here. From the religious text. Okay, so you have a contact. That's not a reason to do it. He needs access to the celestial realm. I would like access to more than just this continent. So your friends want to fuck shit up with the gods and you want to get off the island? It's kind of a win-win situation. I get the world, he gets the heavens. Got the whole world in my... And did he promise you anything? Not really, just more of a um, mutual agreement. Mutually beneficial agreement. Um, it wasn't so much a promise as uh, we struck a deal. And what are you going to do with the world? Look out there. Do you see very many plants or anything for my, my experiments? Or, or species that I could work with? Not really, is there? Kind of a wasteland. The rest of the world? Think of what I could create. Man, those areas where I wish Sir Wellington was there. Right? Right. <laughs> you yeah, might actually right. vibe with the guy sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like overall I would probably get along better with him than Abigail would. It's true. But, I, but yeah. also I'd just be like asking all these questions like, but what about this? What about that? <laughs> Who knows? Sir Wellington could end up being his chum at some point. Okay, Kristen, have you ever heard of this thing? It's called a boat, and you can go from one continent to another. You don't even have to Has do any portal Has Coraline not told you, or are you just daft? Nobody leaves this continent alive. Uh, because no one sends boats here, but if we can send a boat here, we can get out. Come with me. He will actually set down his ingredients and stuff and walk out of the room. Hey, He'll lead her up to this kind of, uh, you know those classic, like, tower spires and castles? He leads yeah. her to the top of one of those. And inside it's a dome-shaped room with a large orb in the middle. And he pushes you off. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bye! No, I'm kidding. Um, Why are you the eagles fly? climb all these stairs? <laughs> because there wouldn't be a satisfying man. drop otherwise. <laughs> hey! I'm going I to take bets on how many times you'll bounce. Uh, he, once once she's up there, he'll grab her wrist and kind of slam her hand into the orb that's in the middle of the room. Okay. And immediately, there's a flash of light, and you remember, oh yeah, this happened once before. Sir Wellington has an orb like this. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and all Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you find yourself... In the body of, like, this young elvish woman. And him as himself, but younger? It's literally just a young human version of himself. Like, maybe early 20s. Mid-20s. Uh, late 20s. Late 20s, early 30s. Is she in the body okay. uh If she's in the body of <laughs> Miss Lover downstairs... That would be hilarious. <laughs> um, It's a, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, there he goes. Hmm. Forgot how beautiful Coraline was. I mean, still is. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> you see yeah, Kristen has... ogling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has aged much finer than you have yeah, basically oh. she honestly she just looks like she's maybe 40 years old and her hair is silvery white other than that she hasn't changed <laughs> he he looks so bad in comparison and just in general um he like he, he glares daggers at you and goes 
We did try to escape once, shortly after. Look back there. So you find yourself, you're on this large ship. There are thousands of ships in the water. Well, you only need to try one or two times. You didn't need to try thousands of times. <laughs> Behind, you can see smoke rising from all across the continent. There is this dark cloud that's swirling. There's like this red lightning in the center of it. It's starting to slowly spread. Red and green lightning, I should say. Not like Christmas colors, but like that sickly green and like that blood red. Not like Christmas red and green. I should clarify that. <laughs> it's Santa. No. Um, and it's blood like red and poison green. Yeah, blood red and poison green. Okay, we're not doing Santa red and green here. Um, it's like swirling and slowly spreading across the land. Um, and you can see these. Everyone fled for the coast when this first happened. And he goes to the side and kind of leans over. You know, we thought we had escaped. We thought we would be safe. Boy, were we wrong. Make a perception check for me. Ben, right? <laughs> that one! Oh, crap. That's a seven. Well, there goes her good rolls for the night. <laughs> She's like, right. whoa, nice, cool. I'm in a different body that's not a hobbit. Or a, halfling, a, yeah. Yeah, a halfling. Figure out what, what, what problem do you have with short people? <laughs> right? She doesn't have a problem with short people. Right? She just. She has know. the most beef with shorties. I don't know why. No, it's with. Why can I be your shorty? <laughs> Um, yeah, she didn't see shit. <laughs> As you're there, you suddenly feel something hit the boat. As massive tentacles wrap themselves around this no. boat. And begin to squeeze. People panic and scream. How old is the croc to pussy? Yeah. How long has the croc to pussy been around? Give me another perception check. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again. Not 13. 13? You only need a 12 for this one. Okay. As you look out and see that every ship is being simultaneously attacked. Holy crap. The ships nearest to you each have like a massive tentacle reach up and grab it. And then as they get crushed in half and pulled down this massive crocodilian creature comes up and just begins targeting the wreckage and just swallowing it whole and then diving again and then coming up and swallowing it whole. Um, the other ships, there's one, it appears to be just straight up some giant octopus. Another one has this massive shark-like thing but with, like, lobster legs. Ugh. Just climb up onto one of the boats and then start attacking the others. And there are hundreds of these monsters, each one unique. And not a single ship makes it past them. Good thing I didn't try and walk home. <laughs> right? You find yourself in the water and Histon pulling you back to shore. Not many people make it back. Mm. 
these things prove insanely relentless hunters. And they will target a single individual swimmer to make sure they don't make it back. Hmm. For the first time, Abigail sees fear in Histon's face. As he remembers this day, he goes, They hunted in packs. We've never seen anything like it. Look at that. See? They have formations. You spent too much time with Brandon. I'm giving things pack tactics. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Since he's <laughs> made some seen a single episode of that. You should watch. Almost every creature Brandon creates ends up with pack tactics. It's true, right? Yeah. He loves pack tactics. It's a problem. That's not a... Oh, okay, maybe it's a problem. It's not yeah, his problem, it's... though. I mean, he makes it other people's problems, apparently. Yep. Or drops arcane ice cream trucks on me. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> She's just kind of going to look out to where he's pointing and be quiet for once. Wow. That's one way to shut up, Abigail. Abigail, quiet? She's quiet. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> All right. Marcus has to learn how to do that. <laughs> Here, trauma. <laughs> As as you see the survivors being hunted by these things, he just shakes his head and goes, we never stood a chance. These creatures arrived at the same time as the incursion from hell. And they've been here ever since. Seems the only way for them to die is for someone to kill them. And obviously that's never happened. I haven't used enough lightning. <laughs> Fry the entire ocean? That's a good mm -hmm. idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could work. <laughs> Different it's continents just have a bunch of dead fish suddenly start floating up. <laughs> like, what the heck's this? Superconducting. <laughs> he he kind of like casts a smell from his hand, and you're back in the room with the orb. There is no other way off this wasted rock. So this bargain is definitely my best bet. Eddie doesn't know about the portal thing. Panda. So you want to open a portal to go back? To the rest of the world. I would like to open a path to connect my research here to the other continents, yes. <clears throat> Sounds logical then it 
If she wants to make insight to see if he's being truthful, she can. Or does she just believe him? Yeah, I think she would just believe him. She just believes him? <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> She's seen enough. She got uh, traumatized yeah. herself. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. No, I see what you mean. I don't think boats are going to work. <laughs> She's like, I almost walked through that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to just take a stroll. <laughs> so you don't need to breathe or anything, so you can just walk along yeah. the floor bed. But then you have those things hunting you. Oh, yeah. Fun fact about Abigail will be able to piece this The lobster shark. That thing probably crawls around the bottom. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Again, lobsters. Oh, uh, there's a uh, lobster monster. I think I just broke Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not like it's a Cobrochion or anything like that. Love you. Ian knows what I'm <laughs> referencing. Yeah. Sorry, what were you referencing? I didn't hear. I, I helped create that. No. Won't you regret that? Probably. Probably. I'm just gonna say I think I think Histon's middle name is Jack. Histon Jack? Yeah. Eh, I could see that. I could see yeah. that. That way, according to Goreline, there's a handsome Jack attack in Sanctuary. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, he's not handsome, though. This guy's so ugly. Um, uh, not according to us, he's not handsome. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Coraline's nuts for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's why I saw what I said. Yeah. He's a, she, he's only handsome Jack to literally one person on the planet. Right. After, he's just pissed into everyone else. Yeah. After he, like, kind of, he's vulnerable for a moment there, and then he just shakes off and goes, but anyhow, so I need you to assist me in the ritual, and uh, then I can fulfill my half of the bargain, and he can fulfill his half, and we're good to go. So let's be careful what sort of ritual this is. As we saw in Ghostbusters, some rituals require you to turn into an ancient being and to have sex. Wait, to be fair, that, <laughs> that was, was a lot not. Of... He gave me the whole rundown. Mm. That was not one of them. To be fair, there's a lot of pagan rituals where you do that. It wasn't in the description. But, I got yeah. the description. I'm sure it wasn't. This is the one time it I think in it's a mind no. print. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Um, she's gonna go ahead. She's gonna like, kind of like, cross her arms and, like, Caroline said she brought you back. Yes. What of it? How did that happen? I do believe your 75 seconds is up. Oh, you fucking bitch. Just tell me. <laughs> I had an accident with one of my experiments. Towards the end of what would have been my normal life. And my frail body could not take the blow of the explosion. She brought me back, and unfortunately, I am now like this. We've had this conversation. It's a good thing. Yes, well, on that, we disagree. The living... Rule over the dead. I am currently researching on a way to restore myself to life, not undead. Why would you do that? Do not do that. <laughs> because there are paths to immortality which do not involve becoming undead. 
You are undead. Stay like that. Shit Why is going to turn. That? I'm telling you, Histon. Shit is going to turn. And the undead are at the top of the chain. You can't... Why would you go back to the bottom? Because the one thing over undead for certain are the living necromancers who rule over them. Oh my god, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you had me for a moment there with your fucking story. I can't believe your shit. I mean, the, the funny thing is, Abigail isn't technically undead. Not... She, Abigail's she tenth, counts yeah. herself, but she's in, in the middle. She's in the middle, she, yes. She's not. She's, she's mid dead. Mid dead. She's mid dead. <laughs> and Histon would know this. Yeah, she's he's not... aware. She she loves herself in that category, but she's not. She doesn't. I feel like Histon's probably mentioned. You're not really undead until he's blue in the face, and she's like, "Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, I am." With absolutely no reasoning whatsoever to back her claim. She's uh, just, she's like, I'm undead uh, because undead is important. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a pulse. I don't breathe. All that she'd go through all her reasons, right. and she'd be like, "I'm better than everyone, therefore." Stuff like that. Like barely any reasoning, but like well, the category of. Never mind. I won't make that analogy. You burn sometimes, Ian. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to make an analogy and then I was like, yeah, probably best to not just say that. It, it's a problematic worldview. So, he, he dismisses Abigail. He's like, I really should get back to my studies. You're free to roam. I highly suggest you study. If things go awry with the demon, I would expect you to be able to defend yourself. You will be the one performing the ritual, after all. Yeah. Fine. Wonderful. I will catch up with you later, unfortunately. And he'll kind of, like, go back to his irritated demeanor and... <laughs> March back down the stairs. I shall go study. Oh, she's okay. actually going to study. All right, I am impressed. <laughs> um, okay. I did. I don't know things what are this. happening today. Right. Whoa. Um, we'll pan over to about a month or so later ish, um, where we have Sir Wellington. Riding on horseback. Centaur back. Centaur back. The fact Send that the back. horse has a human torso attached to the horse body means nothing. <laughs> means I can attach my arms around it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, like hello. Really, it's just like this. He's like, eh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because he's so small. That's a good point. Nah, I, I can hold on pretty well. I have a climbing speed. That's fair. So you're digging your claws into his back. Or her back. Should roll. I'm just, just like back. I'm just like straddling like this, like <laughs> like so how long have you been doing this? <laughs> I've been a scout most of my life, actually. Nice. Started training when I was uh, about 12 years old. Whoa. By the way, the dice landed like this. That's, that's pretty like old. This, like in between. So it's going to be a them, a non-binary uh, centaur. That, that's pretty old. I'm only five. Oh. Well, you are very... Curious for your age. Why? Captain, why is there a five year old riding along with us? <laughs> I asked to go along. I kept the other two safe. And I figured because if we're going to sanctuary tomorrow, I'm small enough that most of the rides I've been able to sleep on anyway, so I can sleep where we're going. Ah. Uh -huh. So I figured this would be more interesting. 
Okay. I would offer you a carrot, but I don't have any. I have beef jerky, though. Um, I would appreciate not I don't eat meat. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's why I said I'm sorry I don't have a carrot. Oh, that that is alright. Um, do you have any, uh... Do you have any cucumbers by chance? Um, let me look for a second. I'm gonna dig in his bag and see if there's any fruits or vegetables in there. I don't think there are, because he's not, like, he did not actively, like, unless it was, like, in one of those areas where he just, like, swept things in. <laughs> The what? No, my unless, gosh. Unless it was like in one of those times where he just like swept things uh, into his bag, like if there was any fruits or veggies, but uh, he did not go out of his way to like put fruits or veggies in his bag. Yeah, that tracks. Um. Hmm. No, he does not have any. I rolled a straight d20 just to like give myself a luck check, and I rolled an at one. So, oh, nice. no, he does not have any. All right. Uh... Yeah, in that case, I go. Uh, I I do I do have crackers though. Um, if you want a cracker, Marcus okay. doesn't count. I think a cracker does sound nice. Thank you very much. He he pulls out like some saltines and like hands like reaches like over as much as he can and he's like, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> um, the centaur will. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the hell was for, and then I realized it was because he's riding on the horse. Yeah. Back of the, the centaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Took me a moment. I was like, do, 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 do. bing. Oh, that's it. Um. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll be like uh, they'll they'll be like oh, thank you, I appreciate that, and they'll. They'll consume it as, as they ride along. Um, the name's Everest, by the way. What's yours? My name is um, Sir Wellington. Pleasure to this meet is, you, Sir Wellington. This is it's really bumpy. It's impressive to be united at such a young age. Oh, yeah. That, that was because of Kevin. Kevin? Is Kevin like your ruler? No, Kevin's a friend. He lives in a tree. So is it a real knighthood then? I don't know. What's a real knighthood? Ah, uh, probably just a fun nickname then. All right, never mind. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we did. There was like some courts we went to as well. Um, but those were also around the trees. Um, and we talked to others there. Uh, Kevin introduced me to a lot of people, but I don't remember a lot of their names. Um, but it was, it was always fun. Just there was craziness that was always happening. And, um, yeah, but in the end, we'd always go back to Kevin's tree and hang out. Hmm, that's impressive. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, oh wait, we're here. Stay quiet. Like pop, okay. they'll like pop the cracker in their mouth, and and draw their bow, string an arrow to it, and kind of have that at the ready. What are we attacking? We're scouting for demons. Look, and the leaders have kind of like uh, their weapons drawn. Are approaching this small town. In I kind of at the bottom of the hill. The other day, I put six of them to sleep and then killed three of them with the, with fire. You did. 
Yeah. And then one was just said nope and didn't want to do anything, which I was okay with at the time because we were trying to escape the town where they were all turning into demons and trying to eat people. It was it was a little crazy. Ah. Uh, well, that is... I'm sorry you had to experience that. It's okay. This this whole place is just filled with craziness. Uh, I was a lizard lady for a while, um, and I had big boobies. And then um, there was there was I think it was a croc the pussy that like attacked us in the water, and um, and then there were other. You think skeletal type things and there's just been a lot and it's been it's been one thing after the next so at this point I feel like a demon is not gonna do a whole lot of scarring I could see that well that's fair I am Troubled to hear that you have experienced so much at your age. I mean, I'm just, it's just kind of impressive that at this point I've gotten to this age with everything that I've experienced. I don't know if many other that have got into my age like this. Well, let's hope we can ensure you make it to ripe old age. Yes, little one? Mm hmm? What? We're going to make sure you is, stay safe. Is five not a ripe old age? Not to my knowledge, no. Okay. All right, we're here. Stay quiet, okay? Okay. As you guys descend into the village, it seems dead silent, dead still. Make a perception check for me. Okay. Actually, can I get a perception check from Marcus? Would he have even noticed that Sir Wellington left? <laughs> that is a very good question. Hold on. I just crawled onto the back of the, the centaur. I was just like, peace out. <laughs> right? Okay, now you give me that. Yeah, that's a nat 20. 25. He would have had time to notice and stop another centaur to ride after if he so wished. Uh, or he can be like, yeah, he'll have fun. I, I'm just debating on whether or not Marcus, like, I mean, Marcus knows how dangerous Sir Wellington is to literally everything. He Even also himself. knows. Himself. Even himself. Marcus knows that he has a weird knack for getting out of trouble. And he knows he's with a group of centaurs. I think at the very least, he's going to like, I assume this is morning or something when he finds out and is like, ah, it's 10. and he's going to go to one of the other centaur guards and be like, uh, by chance, do you know where the other, uh, the ones that left, do you know by chance where they're headed? Well, actually, uh, yes, they're do continuing the perimeter suite. There's a village just down the way that tends to frequently inhabit demons, and they're going to investigate. All right, could you do me a favor? Mm, of course. Depending Did on what it is. All right, uh... 
Hold on. He's gonna get out a pen and paper and just start writing something innocuously. Just and he's gonna just wrap it up. Give this to the little gnome child that probably has stowed away with them, please. He didn't stow away, he just joined them. That makes it even worse. No, just give this to him, please. I think I can manage that. I appreciate it. As soon as they return, I'll give them this. Thank you kindly. Uh, Sir Wellington, can I get a perception check from you? Yeah, it was a 19. It was a 19, okay. Down in the village, you see a number of people milling about. They're all beautiful young women. Together. And they're doing just like... You got one who's setting out some freshly baked pies. You've got another one that's practicing a song and, and playing on her lute. You got another young woman who is... Can I... Um, what is the wind direction? There's no wind. Dang it. How far away are the pies? I'm actually going to say there's probably no wind at all on this continent. How far away are the pies? Maybe a hundred yards? And I smell them from here. Oh, yeah. What what sort of pies do they smell like? Apple. Ooh, I want them. Okay, that that's Sir Wellington's goal is to get the pies. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Objective acquired. All right. Um, what is are your we plan? are we surprised at all by this? Nope. What is what is your plan to go after the pie? I'm gonna crawl off the centaur first of all. Okay. And then I look up and I'm like, "Do you guys need a distraction?" No, I'm pretty sure we have this. Just stay, stay you, back I, and out of the way. All right, right. you can observe. Are Are you gonna mess up the pies? Pies. Just, they just put out fresh pies. Oh. They smell like oh, apples. Oh, heavens no. I, I just squint I look. If you mess up the pies, it's not going to be good. I want those pies. I can, just create, I can create... You don't want I can the create pies. A dis I want the pies. I can create a distraction, and then, like... And then it will it will be a really good distraction, trust me. And it will it will cause them to go in different direction and I can get the pies and then it maybe gets the people where you want them to go. Like I can make a giant goat appear. And it will freak them out. I've seen it happen before. It's kind of funny. Just, just stay. No. Okay. Just stay out of the way, all right? Stay here, stay safe. Fine. He's gonna follow up into a point where he's like a like. A hundred feet away from whatever is going to go on. All right. Because at that point, he knows he's close enough to chuck a few Eldritch blasts. That's true. Um, you had me right there. <laughs> I was like, "See, he's not going to run, run into the." I was about ready to have you make a stealth check if you're gonna try and sneak down into the town anyhow in the middle of the battle. <laughs> no, he's not. He's he's he is like he does not really want to get on the bad side of the centaurs. Like, <laughs> Smart kid. Uh, but he but he does. He really wants those pies. <laughs> They're going to ride down in a in an attack formation. 
Okay, he's keeping his eye on like where they are and like on those pies to mm-hmm. like. Yeah. The young women see them. And they drop their illusionary forms to reveal a number of warrior-like demons wielding a variety of weapons. Oh no, demon women. And they will charge into battle with the centaurs. Centaurs basically cleave right through them. These guys are trained warriors. One centaur gets wounded. Other than that, they have no forms of casualties and the battle's over in about five minutes okay sir wellington just runs down and like goes and like goes up to the pies gets a good whiff of them um as long as everything smells right he's just gonna like slightly gingerly pick them up and like slide them into his bag smells right what are you smelling for well they said you don't want those pies it makes him go is there like, like a demon in here? Is there like bad meat or something in here or something that no. could be demon? It so, smells okay. like one of the most delicious pies you've ever smelled. So he's just gonna slide it into his bag. Are there okay. a bunch of bad apples? <laughs> Boy, we're punny tonight. We're punny. Um, I'm always punny. Always. That's fair. We always are. <clears throat> I'm not even a dad, and my like ninety percent of my humor. Is At dad. this point, because there was apple pies, he's gonna start looking for other good foods. Are you trying to climb up through the window? Through the window? Can I look into the window first? Like, yeah. Before, is there anyone? Like, am I seeing anyone or any? No, every everyone came out to fight the centaurs. They wiped out okay. the whole town. Uh, yeah, sure. Then I'm going around like looking for uh, food. Oh, you don't even have to. The second you get up there, the entire kitchen has shelves stocked with baked goods. like <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah! Hell yeah, man! <laughs> this is gonna be some Odyssey shit right here. Whoosh! He just starts like. Mm. Yeah, 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 like kid in a candy store. Like, oh yeah, he Literally. takes one. He, he he takes like one of the like big goods and starts munching on it as he puts it uh, stuff into his bag. All right. Wait, you're just eating the baked goods. You're like one for me, one for later, one for me, one for later. No, he's eating one oh, as he's, he's putting the rest. Okay. He's, okay. he's eating, yeah, and he's he's like. He breaks off some, hands it to Snickers, and like, yeah. Alright. Could you roll a d6 for me real quick? (laughs) Sure. Oh, no. What magical effect do I get from these baked goods? (laughs) Turns into another lizard bombing again. Uh, four. (laughs) Four, okay. Uh, Your breath breathes fire for the next hour. Woo! And when you oh, walk no. outside, you're immediately in love with the first demon you see. Demon? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! But, wait, they're all dead, right? Luckily, yes. <laughs> so I fall in love with <laughs> no. the first dead one I see. I mean, it'll last for about five minutes, and then her body will return to uh, the 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 dozen hells. <laughs> I I look it over and go. What have they done to you, <laughs> my sweet love? And, and I and I walk. He he slowly walks over, looking down. Just slightly caresses the face. Oh, it's God. like <laughs> you are too young for this. Thank you. What is going? On? Oh my gosh. Now my question is, my question is, I fed some to Snickers. Oh, oh no. Snickers is over another body like <laughs> 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 Oh my Give me a D6 for oh, Snickers. No. Okay. Uh 3. 
Three? Okay. Uh, Snickers has horns for the next hour. <laughs> Little demon horns. He's a horny nice. squirrel. Oh, gosh. I hate you right now, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, but... <laughs> 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 just, just like tears, like some tears oh, being no. shed. <laughs> like the centers like, come over, and like, what's go? Do we need to be worried about this now? I told him not to eat the food, but he ate the food. So, ah. <laughs> after what's a moment, wrong? what's wrong with eating the food? <laughs> Wait, why am I crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so th when the body dissipates and just vanishes you know returns to hell and all that you don't remember what happened it's like waking up from a trance yeah i, I just I'm like <laughs> you just suddenly hey, you're on your I, knees sobbing I, in front of some why am i crying you don't know why. oh and snickers is over there sobbing as well <laughs> <laughs> are you guys cutting onions <laughs> Let's just get you back to camp. Okay. Be best. Would you like to have uh, uh, a pastry? I think I'm good. They're, they taste pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Okay. <laughs> no, Come on, like, should we tell them? No, actually, this is kind of funny. Like... <laughs> <laughs> how, many do, how many pastries and such was I able to get? See, you just put the whole kitchen's worth. You have a few. You have like a month's rations. <laughs> yes. Good. Random magical pastries. Please feed them to so many people. <laughs> and just, Marcus well, is just I walking mean... along. Sorsha, I could never love anyone, but <gasps> that's the hottest demon I've ever seen. <laughs> Dying! <laughs> When Mark... tiefling, probably makes She's it look tiefling. worse. <laughs> oh. Like, oh. Marcus, Sorsha when and did Marcus, Marcus into both me? fall in love with the same <laughs> demon. Gosh, no. He's like, honey, are you up for a polycule? Because I am if you are. I feel like Abigail would find that immensely amusing. Actually, Absolutely. Well, so Wellington and Abigail would probably vibe and be like, oh, this is too good. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he, but yeah, Sir Wellington's looking around like, okay, we can go. My breath is feeling a little warm. I don't know why. Uh, just don't breathe on me, all right? <laughs> oh, okay. Snickers! And as he sees Snickers, I, when did you get those? Those are pretty cool, though. Okay. I'm gonna put him on my shoulder. He doesn't want like little horns pricking him at like under right. his. <laughs> Just stay here for now. All right, whatever you say, boss. I love Snickers' actual voice. <laughs> the fact that I gave him a real deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> the criminals you are looking for are not at the top of the mountain. <laughs> bottom of the mountain. They reside at the top oh, that's where my companions true. are trying to detain them. Matt wasn't here last week when I did I Snickers' not. voice. Yeah, no. Snickers' voice is kind of like this. That is right. awesome. Because he was talking he was talking to Brenthal the bear. Makes me think of the uh, squirrel from Hoodwinked. I mean, oh yeah, that part where like they slow down his voice yep, and it's like Demon's voice. Yep. Yeah. Um, alright, so yeah, you get, are given a ride back into camp where Marcus is waiting for... By the way, Marcus, oh. the centaur trots over and hands Sir Wellington the note right in front of you. And she just kind of looks at you like, I did it. <laughs> Marcus is just gonna... Confused, Sir Wellington, like, unfolds the note. Here, I will... I don't know. Mark, Markham, do you want to read it, or do you want me to read it? I can read it. All right. Sir Wellington, 
I know you went and joined up with the Centaur Patrol. I know you can blow a bunch of shit up and escape literal hell. So I will scold you when you get back. Also tell them I say sorry for whatever trouble and mayhem you caused, Marcus. I just look at him and I, before he can even say anything, I look at, I look over at the centaur and I don't go, they took me a place and, and, and because of it, I cried. He's going to look at the centaur. Why did he cry? <laughs> this boy fell in love with a demon briefly. Oh, God's above. <laughs> Is that what happened? It was quite a touching moment, if I do say so myself. Sir Wellington, why the hell did you fall in love with the de- Wait. Uh, he's yeah, the gonna one look around why like, the hell? He, he's gonna look around and go, wait, demon not here, is it? it it's dead, right? <laughs> the demon is dead, yes. Oh, good. Good. No, wait, what the hell? Why the hell did you fall in love with the demon? Did you eat something weird? Or did, did you have a spell cast upon you? Come on! They're seductress demons. It, it happens. <laughs> He's just gonna look at Sir Wellington and, go, and look back at the centaur and go, they, they know he's a... Never mind. I don't want that answered. I do not want that answered. I mean, they could have been demon youths for all we know. Either way, they're back in, back in hell right now. Hopefully they will not return here again. Our goal is to swiftly decrease the demon population as accurately as possible. Fair enough. And he's going to turn to Sir Wellington. Did you take anything from this town? What do you mean? I know you, Sir Wellington. Did you take anything from the town that you were not supposed to? No. Insight check. He does not trust him. They know, like they, they they know that I was going and getting the the pastry. So in his mind, he didn't take anything that he wasn't supposed to. That's a good he's, point. He is telling the truth. I will give. He, I will he, allow he you is, to make a persuasion check if that's better than deception. In his mind, like he's like, he, he, that's why he asks. He's like, "What do you mean?" And he said, "Anything you're not supposed to." And the centaurs were like destroying demons they didn't say anything about not they just said we don't recommend you eat the things but it's true oh that's mile i'm like why is perception so hard i mean it's not this? dangerous which is why they're like letting it play out because they think it's funny <laughs> yeah okay i get it um 17 for persuasion uh, insight was unnatural 20 Well, he definitely took something, but he seems to be telling the truth that he didn't take anything he wasn't supposed to. He's going to look at Zentar. What did the boy take? He's fine. He just scouted for some supplies. We, we, we checked everything to make sure he wouldn't be taking any cursed armor or anything like that. I got and, food. And the food had nothing to do with your little demon love episode? I, I wouldn't know. No, Sir Wellington wouldn't know. As far as he knows, the only thing it caused was for him to breathe fire and uh, his squirrel to sprout horns for an hour. Which, it's worn off by this point, I should say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like these centaurs. They have a sense of humor. Oh, they do. They do. They're a little bit of pranksters, I will admit. <laughs> He's just good. <laughs> Honestly, when you go out demon fighting all the time, you take what entertainment you can get, and this crew is pretty entertaining. <laughs> He's just gonna just like run his <laughs> nose and go, uh, What did you take, if I may ask? Uh, I got some pastries and I got uh, two apple pies. All right, I'm not touching it. But they're really good. I were the demon seductress ladies cooking them. 
yes. Then we probably don't want to touch stuff that was made by demons. Now, they were know. really good. Yeah, and all of a sudden... And I was like, able to breathe fire for an hour. See, we do not need that. You already have power over Fireball. We do not need you to have but, Fire but, Breath but, down But then, like, Snickers had, like, little horns for an hour, and that was also really cool. And he could, like, run into things and, like, stab them. Like, like you know how, like, it's really, like, it's not fun when someone takes a toothpick and, like, stabs you with it? It's like that. So wait, you're telling me he was a horny squirrel for a second? And he has no idea what he just said. I guess. Sorcerer will stifle a smirk, but the centaurs will also be, like, chuckling in amusement. Heck, the whole uh, camp is kind of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> My guys will look around and go, What? What's so funny? I'll explain it to you later, darling. <sighs> Alright, let's just... Yeah, here, Sir Wellington. Thank you, and he'll, like, personally just go up to the centaur and is like, thank you for watching over him. Sorry for any mayhem he caused and just say that to all of them. He was actually very well behaved. Stayed He's out gonna of stop. Trouble, like he said, we he told him to. He's gonna stop and just look at Sir Wellington. This is like when your parents hear that you're well behaved, you are not. He is giving you that look of like, what the hell, man? <laughs> All right, do you guys want to stay around for a little bit longer, just until we get to sanctuary, please? Um, you're to each ride on one of us, and we're taking you directly to sanctuary today. Awesome. Oh, yeah. cool. I just stick to the person I'm already writing, and then I just yell out, Harrison. Kaylee. The camp uh, takes some time to kind of break down and gather everything up. And then, uh, yeah, every everyone uh, gathers up their things. And uh, each one mounts uh, a centaur and you guys head off. Make a perception check. Man, what? I would have thought at five years old I'd be mounting a centaur. Giggity. That is, uh... Questionable humor. Eh. Go, man, I imagine man. it. I, I just imagine Sir Wellington is this Stewie of our group. He really <laughs> is Stewie. <laughs> Uh, that's... <laughs> Marcus! 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 <laughs> what? Hi. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a 19 for me. Sorry, I will have a It's a 19. Alright. What uh, are we... Sorry, what are we doing? Perception check. Oh my gosh, I make myself laugh too hard. 11. With an 11, Sir Wellington doesn't notice. Marcus... I have a passive of six. Sigurd is nowhere to be found. No, oh, yeah, I won't have. He was action. present last night when you guys met the centaurs, and the centaurs were like, "We're from Sanctuary, and we're taking you to Sanctuary." Sometime between then and now, he's disappeared. Marcus is. I assume they're on the back of the centaurs already. Uh, he's gonna just like look around, and just. Even though he feels bad about it, he's going to kind of feel happy that he's gone. Although, he's also going to... There, there's an issue I just actually thought of. Did we ever find the horse that Callie was on? Not so far, no. Okay. I was like, alright. So, for Marcus, she would still be headed towards Sanctuary along with yep okay. yeah well because in his mind the way that they were supposed to be going was going to take another three weeks yeah so yeah so never mind so if she like, doesn't as long as she shows up in the next month in the sanctuary she's done what she needed to do yeah <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> you know he's just gonna be like notice it and just kind of oh. shrug just like yeah <clears throat> Yeah. 
And you guys would probably have sussed out that Sigurd was taking you to kind of a backdoor entrance where he knew a guy who could let you in. Probably the, the relative he mentioned. Or that, that was mentioned in, in the letter that Sir Wellington found. Yeah. He... But, okay. um... Uh, what? Sorry. Uh, go ahead, and then Marcus has a question to ask. Yeah. Um... But you're apparently now being taken in the front gate. Okay. Uh, which centaur is uh, Marcus riding on? Take your pick. Uh, I guess just to make it easier, he's going to... If Sir Wellington isn't already on him, he's going to be on the back of the leader centaur. Go for it. Because depending on when he notices, he will have a few questions. So he will just kind of look yeah. and go so I have to ask about something uh, do y'all know a person named Sigrid right that was the name yeah Sigurd Sigurd yes okay uh, cool a uh, person named Sigurd well I do actually there's a nice young lad in town named Sigurd it's a good name strong name Dog, the little boy. Actually, I think the young ones there will probably name. get quite along with him. The little one. How old is he? Oh, he's about seven years old now. Does he have a? They have a father by chance with the same name? No, no, no. His father's name is um, Tova. Right. So you don't know anything about another secret then. I mean, it's a common name, but I don't personally know any others. Milo is just... Go Milo. Damn it. <laughs> Marcus is just going to nod. And how much do you know about the town we were in? You guys did... Philander is a very dangerous town. You don't want to go near there. Yeah, Marcus. People there are most unfortunately cursed. But there's no cure, so they must as, live out their lives. Has anyone, I assume, yes, I just, has anyone been close to finding a cure, or has tried? We do not have the proper facilities to research such things, so no, no one has even come close. <sighs> Fair enough. He's just going to be silent for most of the trip then, unless someone has questions for him. But other than that, he's just going to be silent thinking about stuff. Very well. Um, as you guys ride towards town, we'll pan over one more time to Abigail. It's been a little over a month. You've gathered all the information you can. Uh, it's been about a month since you had that last conversation with um, Histon. Um, he's kind of been leaving you alone. He keeps talking about how the next blood moon is coming up and he needs to have everything ready by then. As one of the rules of the ritual is it needs to be the second blood moon of the year. So, if they miss this one, you have to wait a whole other year to do the ritual. Okay. The what? I said okay. Oh, I thought you said something else. Uh, anything in particular you would like to do? Um, just gonna keep trying to get things ready. Okay. I 
time she's actually been studying? Yeah. yeah. Reluctantly, but yeah. I'll let Abigail have another rank. Okay. Make her the BBEG of the party. Do not do that. She's Sounds she's like it's being... not the first time he's done that. She's being nice. That is true. It's true. I have become the VBEG even. That was yeah, a different that's what the, Yeah, but uh, same world. It's true. <laughs> same DM. Fair enough. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'll... She'll, she'll back off, actually. She'll study and she'll get things ready. Okay. She might... Uh... No. What do her interactions with her sister look like? Yeah. That's a solid question. Does she even hang out with Micah, or is she avoiding her? Yeah, she probably studies in the same room as her. Okay. And she doesn't know something. She's like, what does this mean? Well, actually, wow. now Micah doesn't know anymore, so... It's true. Micah's like, I but... don't know. Why are you asking me? <laughs> Yeah, probably not anymore. Way to rub it in, it. sis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she usually oh, would do that, but why now she would do I that. know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you put mind demons in my brain. <laughs> um. Yeah. She. I mean, she would still obviously check in with Micah. Um. Micah has her personal zombies waiting on her. Mm hmm. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Uh, mm, all right. Let's see. So, um, Any pranks or anything you want her to work on? Hmm? Any pranks or anything you want Abigail to work on preparing or anything? Pranks? No. No? Okay. Surprising. This is not prankster. She looks to antagonize <laughs> people. But I, I'm saying she would back off. Just, she's chilling a little bit. Huh. Yeah. This little flashback got to her, huh? Yes, it did. Oh, That's wow. what I'm saying. Oh, wow. Alright. What? I never thought I would see the day that Abby would actually, like, back off on Histon. She, that's what I'm saying. She's backing off on his sin. She's she's preparing for the ritual. She's doing what he says. Alright. Wow. And she's studying. He's a little bit nicer to her as a result. What the fuck? That's scary. <laughs> this is so weird. He's uh, a little bit he's a little bit concerned by it, but he's like, Oh, you're actually like, what the fuck you're are being you doing? a good you're being a good student. I feel like you're up to something, but alright. I like this. You're cool now. For now. As long as you keep this up. We'll see if you keep Everyone's this up. Everyone's like, we're all highly suspicious of what is going right. on right now. <laughs> it's like a game of Among Us and everyone pr presses the button at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you need to get rest, so actually... This is this is a pretty good good closing point then. Um with with the next blood moon coming up pretty quickly and the party now arriving at the gates of sanctuary because that that next segment is going to that that's going to be most of a session right there. Um getting through the uh the checkpoints. It's like the TSA of of Gashale here. Um Take off, uh, take off all it. metal items, put them over yeah. here. We can yeah, never no, escape the TSA. 
can't even save the TSA in fantasy. Damn right? it. Um, hey, you haven't even seen the, the places, the continents in this world that actually have planes. <laughs> they have planes? Yeah. Then get, fly over the freaking sea monsters. I'm Not tell this continent. About can't planes fly from continent to continent? Yet yeah, they need a landing strip. Jagged Wasteland is not exactly a flat landing strip. Helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. I'll have to check my notes. I don't know if they have helicopters. But they, have, they, they are working on space travel, so they probably do in that one location. But they're also a very kind of... I don't know, what's the word? Uh, yeah, they're very isolationist. They don't trust the magic using continents. They at all. I'm gonna start magically sending them threats to send me a helicopter right now. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better get me out of here. I'm gonna use magic to blow up your continent. Yeah, you wanna see how magic can fuck you up? Keep That's when they just, they press the button and a nuclear launch code is issued and it's like, beep. You want to see, you want to see something big. Oh, that reminds me of the, the finale of this. Um, wait, why do nuclear launch codes make you think <laughs> of the so scared. <laughs> So, back with the main party. Congratulations, parties. everyone! I, you got you guys got to the very last thing. You're about to win. Uh oh, what's this? There's a mushroom cloud. You here? A as, deafening boom. As as you guys, yeah. let's let's do that to the guy who lives in Japan. No. 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 Oh. I'm not gonna make the joke. No. Shut my mouth. <laughs> you, you weird history nuts, you. Um. Uh, well, all right. You guys do hear a distant kind of rumbling, and followed by like a a, a, a loud explosion, and off to the kind of right and kind of the the southwest. Of where you guys are, further into the wastelands, you see this massive mushroom cloud going up. Biggest explosion any of you have ever seen. Wait, I can't tell whether or not you're joking. This no, I'm not I... joking. What? <laughs> oh, great. What? Now, now, on top of dealing with demons, we have to deal with nuclear fallout. <laughs> What the hell? One of the, one of the, the, the centaurs will just kind of stop and look and go. It's that time of month again. <laughs> they're basically, <laughs> they, they just have this look of like they're used to it. They're like, oh, it seems Hadion is growing stronger. Marcus just looks at this and wonders what the hell that was. Say, so, um, one of the Arc Devil's abilities when he first invaded. We're not sure what it is. It's. I don't know, some mutated form of fireball. I don't know, but. Explosion was large enough to level entire cities. So. We didn't stand much of a chance against him. All that was left was shadows. <laughs> All that was left was blood and ash. No, literally, that would have been... If it was a nuclear bomb, they were our shadows that are still in places yeah. in Hiroshima That's and Nagasaki. True. That is true. That's true. So, yeah. That's true. All that were left were shadows and ash. Yeah, that's not wrong. Speaking of which, I definitely need My to see... My finger of death was bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> How about power word delete? <laughs> um, power word nuke. That's what this is, essentially. We word best... delete this. <laughs> yeah. Word delete this. Power, power word nuke. Components. 
semantic and what you can call it, just it's visual semantics and and components. One component is you need a hydrogen bond, all that, and then you have to know the the secret phrase for your nuclear launch codes. Visual, you need to be able to see where you're launching it to. Yet that is actually a necessity, which is the only reason why he hasn't been able to obliterate Sanctuary. That, and there's some magic. Yeah, divine magic protect. at work protecting it, yeah. So Hang you on. did create Power Ward Nuke. I did, basically. You know, I'm yeah. actually kind of surprised D&D doesn't have more spells like that. Well, because you have Murder Hobo players who <laughs> would just, like, straight up be like, all right, we're going to obliterate whole cities now. Well, I mean, I, I, how many Murder Hobos get to level 20, though? Yeah, but have you seen Brandon's... You don't. We don't need more stuff to give Brandon, like, fuel for his... Dungeon Master therapy sessions. Again, right. I only am. There we go. Dungeon this is Daddy. essentially what you see. So it's not just huh? one. There's a couple of explosions you see in the distance. These, these are essentially TikToks. I made AI art a ways back for it. Oh, that is not a mushroom cloud. That is a mountain cloud right <laughs> there. Jeez. That is fucking terrifying. One of his servants probably failed him in some regard. He does that to people who failed him? You what? failed. Bye-bye to your whole town and city. <laughs> like, Boom. Oh, you got my coffee wrong. <laughs> Here, wait, I'll obliterate wait. you and your... Obliterate all wait. you know. This wait, dude wait. is literal fucking Frieza at this point. Which... Which mysterious sorcerer from another realm does this didn't have a deal with? I'm suddenly very scared. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail did what? <laughs> Abigail? No, Marcus? I'm not the one. He's just in proximity to me. If he fucks up, he blows his whole yeah, shit up, but, I'm gonna but, get blown up. <laughs> but at the same time, if Histon blames you instead... And if, like, there's been years of trust built up, and he goes, ah, okay, let me blow this other person up. Hey, man, did you see the radius of this thing? If I blow up and we're in the same house, we're both blowing up. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, Abigail will go back to, a uh, sorry, Michael will go back to Ashes. <laughs> she was oh. never Ashes. Dust to dust. She, she looks like it. Um, she looked like it. So yeah, um, with that we close out. Um, Abigail, would you like to introduce now, Naz? Now, Abigail, would you like to introduce Naz? That's new. Um, <laughs> and Naz, would you like to <laughs> outro for some, you? Some new problems in my life. If I could come, I could deal. Uh, I'm Naz. I play Abigail. Honestly, you should like for the the, the spooky house. Just dress like Abigail. I dress like day. Abigail all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's fair. Enough. Well, add pyrotechnics <laughs> so it looks like you're casting spells. No comment. Just, just, <laughs> make, just, just make a glove and add LEDs to like the fingertips so you can like do stuff. Sparks. And, like... Yeah, I was working on something similar for Marin. And and then it's just go get things. those little like those little like what you can call those little like firecracker things, the little ones that you can just chuck down really hard and they pop, and start throwing them at people indoors. Oh, outdoors. It doesn't matter. They're just they don't actually do anything. Just psh, 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 like it just makes that little sound. It's like when you put them under a toilet seat, then oh, someone sits God. down and freaks out. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that. And you scare the shit out of them. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mischief is not. Um. All right. Uh, Matt. All right. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> we actually drew out my NASA's I know, outro right? for once. <laughs> yeah, Matt played uh, Marcus, who is just more and more issues. 
<laughs> now there's nukes involved. Not that you guys know what nukes are. You know what? Actually, give me a history check. For Marcus, at least. Uh, Sir Wellington would not know. Okay. No. I am he looks at it and goes, if you eat one of those, you start seeing colors for days. <laughs> <laughs> Much okay. Uh, that is a uh, nat 20, so... 25. A lot of nat 20s this session. Holy I cow. I know. It's great. We have 25 total. Gonna have to check the chat log and make sure you're not all bloody liars. I'm kidding. Check it. Actually, the chat log hasn't been working in a while. It says the last time we played was the 18th of May. So okay, we'll all send you a screenshot. No, you don't have. I believe you guys. Um, you what chat log? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> chat log. Um, Is it chat log? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no. Marcus would actually know what nuclear bombs are then. Because they Wait, were historically how? used. There was a war between the continents. This is why you don't see planes flying from the tech continents and landing in the magical continents. Because years ago, there was a war, magic versus technology, and it escalated to the point of the birth of the nuclear bomb. And that... It's been thousands of years, and they've never rebuilt trust. They have been no contact for millennia because of this. They so, didn't pull the United States and just go in right afterwards and help them rebuild to be like, hey, look, we're good guys now. We're going to help you. No. I mean, there's a lot I of mean, they tried, but they didn't want to send in their own people, so they sent in an army of Warforged to help with the rebuilding, and that didn't end so well. Like, we're going to nuke you, and then we're going to send in an army of robots. Like We're going to nuke you, it, then we're going to send the Terminator. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it was like, uh, excuse me, so now you're going to send Ultron at us. No, thank you. Um, so, so Marcus knows that there is such freaking things as nukes. Okay, that mm -hmm. is great. Yeah, yeah. You could be like, oh, I read about this. In He's church. like, oh, I read about this. <laughs> oh, shit, I read about this. Yeah, basically, basically. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lastly, Ian. Yeah, I, I'm Ian. I play Lover Boy, Sir Wellington. Um, <laughs> full of sweet nothings. You know what? Um, you need to get Kieran to eat one of these. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Hey, I don't mean, I don't need I don't need I was going to say I don't need pastries to get him to fall in love with the demon. <laughs> to be fair, she was not a demon. She was a woman cursed to be a were devil. Very different. Bill. Still looked like a demon. Looked like a demon only on the night smelled, of the blood moon. So four nights like a year, a demon, she looks like a demon. Screwed like a demon. Oh my gosh. And then ripped in half like a demon. Apparently. Or split in half. Yeah, Kieran turned into Doom Guy. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, but yeah. So that that's me. Uh, we will see what happens with these pastries where I hand them out and people start uh, doing interesting stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna be chaos. Um. Just wait till I hand Harrison and Kaylee one. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, thank you all for joining us. Um, we will be back uh, next week. Uh, tomorrow night we have Legends of Kralis with uh, Talaris Game Master. Um, I am your GM for tonight. Dungeon Lord, Shenanigan Sovereign, whatever title you would like. Naz and I play on Friday nights as well. In the uh, Aether Punk science fantasy um, Legends of Kralis, run by the creator of the game, um, Talaris Game Master. So we'll be doing that tomorrow at, I think it's 10 o'clock Eastern or 10.30 Eastern or something like that. Starting time. Something like that. Um, and then uh, Monday is Iowan Adventures. Tuesday they have something, I think. Um, Sundays bi-weekly is Rumors of Magic. You can catch my wife and I on there. Um, and then, of course, we have Thursday, The Lost Continent. Next week, we will be going through the TSA to get into the, uh, 
mm-hmm. uncorrupted land called Sanctuary. Um, and Abigail will get closer to, well, I was going to say pranks, but apparently she's backing off of pranks, and I don't know what the frick she's going to be doing. She's going to get um, closer to Histon. That's what's going to happen. Mm. Yeah, maybe she's going to try and steal Histon from Coraline. Yep. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I can't even remotely guess what Abigail's up to at this point, so... <laughs> when being calm is more unsettling than her doing bad stuff. Right? Yes. It really is. Yes. It really is. <laughs> so I wish you all a wonderful evening. Uh, stay safe, stay lost, and... Um, there's a third one, I'm sure, but I don't know it. So stay something, everybody. <laughs> Y'all take care. Stay lost stay twice. Too. Stay lost and stay very lost. Stay so lost, you forget the last one. <laughs> stay lost and stay suspicious. That's a good one. <laughs> I do like that, especially for this one. Especially with Abigail. All right, you take care, everyone.